a beautiful day at the Power Mods headquarters, and it's time to get this LAN restoration back underway. Snow's just about on us, so it's the time. One thing I want to do, I want to show you the most common mod or the mod I make to every ELAN that I have. When somebody asks me, you know, what's the best thing you can do to make it better, I always say, improve your flotation of the skis. Now, all these parts and pieces here supplied by Kimpex. This is the replacement Elan ski with the shock mount on it. And this is one of their ski skins. This is kind of a generic type. This one's for a skidoo and it's eight inches wide. Now obviously it's a little bit longer, but we're going to make that work. And of course they sell runners as well. Now why do I do this? Why do I put that on? Well if you have an Elan you know why. The front end always digs in. If your kids are riding, it's a little tough for them to ride. Some guys put widening kits on them. That's okay, but if you're a heavier guy and you have a widening kit on there and you have it for a few years, you're going to start bending the spindles. You'll notice they'll start to flare out a little bit because it sort of puts a high load on their sides and it's not really that good. But when you put eight inches of flotation on the front, it changes the characteristics of the sled. It makes it turn easier, helps you in the deep snow, and your kids have more fun. You're not, you're not digging them out as often. So I'm gonna show you how I install these skis on this ski skin that I have done, I'm gonna say maybe 10 times, 10, 12 Elans, maybe even more. Let's get her done. All you're gonna to need to put this whole thing together, a torch, a drill, a rivet gun of some sort, you don't need the air actuated one, a drill bit, a knife, and a couple of clamps. That's it. All right, so let's get these on. This is a quick thing to do. I'm telling you, it doesn't take very much time at all, and the benefits are awesome. First thing I have to do is I've got to remold the tip of the ski a little bit. Now, this is meant to go on a bigger ski. They weren't thinking of the land when they built these little things. Now, all I do is I place the ski on it, and I heat it up. use one of these clamps to get her into place here. That's it. Since these ski skins don't have mounting holes for an LAN, I'm going to make my own. And then I use my little runner here as my guide so I know where all of this has to mount up. And I just poke some extra holes because I'm going to have to sort of ream this out a little bit so these little angled parts of this runner fit. It's easy. Once that's done, I just use my handy little knife here, tidy things up a little bit. And it also has to be cut out a little wider because those runners are a little wide. A little wider than my drill bit, I should say. It was the closest one I had to me, so I just grabbed it this morning. Make sure you have your holes cut in the right place. Just slip the runner into place. See how well it fits. That looks pretty good. I'm going to reheat this again, got a little stiff on me. There we go. I'll 
recamp, I'm going to reclamp that back into place, but I have to make sure that I align these holes that I made. It's just in the perfect spot. I'm going to install a couple of rivets to hold that into place. I use a steel rivet for this one because it needs to be a little tougher. The aluminum ones have a tendency to kind of break on me. Well, this is just a little tougher. rivets and the drill. Now sometimes these runners can be a little tricky to get in. I just put a little extra bend in here by putting it in the vise. Stick it in the back of the ski, push it into place. I'm going to thread this nut on. Forgot to tell you, you're going to need a 14 millimeter or 916 socket, deep socket. I don't know why that's there. My new toolkit, the goodness. That's it. Now we have the ski in place, but things don't kind of look right, do they? Can't leave it that long, but I have a trick. I'm gonna show you what I do. I need to tidy up the front of this ski, but I am gonna leave it a little longer just for that deep snow. And it looks pretty cool. These edges are a little sharp on here. Just to take care of that, do one of these. That's it. Cool. Now for the back. That looks pretty good. Looks like a nice ski. Now we got to deal with the back. If I just ran my saw across the back here, it'd be a pretty straight, flat edge. If I tried to pull the snowmobile backwards, it would dig in. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is heat this up, give her a little bend. Now, I can either sit here and hold this for 10 or 15 minutes while it hardens up, or I can do something else. I just lean it against the wall. I could take some air and blow some air across it. I could even probably pour some water on it. It would cool down. But this floor is cold. This thing will be done in no time. I'll make a couple phone calls. I'll come back. Perfect. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to trim that up. Might look a little silly, a little hard to turn. This is what I do for the back here. Tidy up those loose ends. Oh yeah. 
this is going to make your Eland perform a lot better. You're going to have more fun with it. Your kids aren't going to complain that it keeps diving, especially those old 71s that have the really narrow ski stance and have a real tendency to dip a lot. This is going to revive your ride. I got to thank you guys for coming. All of these parts are available at www.kimpex.com. The runner, the ski skin, extra wide ski skin, and the replacement Elan ski. Make sure you come and check us out on our new forum, www.powermods.com forward slash forum. For all kinds of cool stuff, even some giveaways. Going to announce a winner soon. I got to thank you guys for coming as usual. Make sure you stick around because we're going to do some more build videos on that Elan series. Thanks for watching.